you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? You bring up a very good point in that just because Two Fort is the most iconic map, it doesn't make it a good map. That is that is a point that will un undoubtedly be reiterated many a time through this entire stream. I mean, I, no, no, listen, listen. This is the official tier list. Like it, every other tier list for TF2 maps is going to be invalidated by the presence of mine. All of those other opinions are completely wrong. Do not listen to them. Only listen to me. My opinions are the correct ones. My opinions are the superior opinions. All of the others are wrong. Banny's tier list? Fucking pathetic. It's disgusting. Banny, right now, listen, buddy, buddy, I'm calling you out. Right now, bucko. Your fucking tier list is terrible. It's wrong. My list is gonna be better. My list is gonna be superior. You know why? Because mine. No others are correct, aside from mine. Um, we'll do cum tier as the uh, the highest of tiers. I think that's more appropriate. Is this tier list only judging gameplay? No, of course not. This, this like, ev every tier list, right? It doesn't matter what it is. Every tier list is the subjective experience from the individual rating what's on this list. There is, of course, there's no official 100% objective tier list, right? Unless it's something that's based in, like, hard science. Four is greater than three, which is greater than two, and so on and so forth. These are all just my subjective opinions, duh. What happens if I slightly enjoy a map more or less than you do? You're fucking banned, banning you immediately. That's the expected response, right? If, if, if you disagree with me, I'm going to remove you. You're, you're, you're no longer welcome in this space. Your mere presence violates mine and I will remove you. I will annihilate you if your opinions do not align with mine. Of course, two for it is right off the bat and I'm gonna, I mean, two for it. Two, I mean, two fort's pretty bad, right? Two fort is the map where you have the most fun when you're not playing the objective. If you're just dicking around, you know, you're just screwing around on the battlements as sniper. If you're fucking around in the tunnels as engineer and just completely camping an area, that's always fun. If you're actually trying to play the objective on two fort, you're gonna have a bad time. Two fort is just glorified team deathmatch. Beyond that, don't bother playing the objective. And yeah, even when you're doing that, it's not that fun because the map is just so small. It's so tiny. It's like you're playing in a shoebox, man. Two Ford's just two Ford's pretty bad. It's definitely not the worst. There are <laughs> there are maps that are worse than two Ford. Before I continue, I should probably clarify what each tier means. I think that's important. The come tier, it's always fun. You're always having a good time. It's it's phenomenal. There's there are no flaws with this map. Every time you boot up a server or get on a server that's playing the maps that are in this tier, it's it's a grand old time. All the time, every time, doesn't fucking matter. No matter what class you're playing, no, doesn't doesn't matter. All Always great. Pretty fun. Pretty much every time you get on this map, it's fun. It's a good time. There are some, there could be some issues. There could be like some rough areas or whatever. It could have some flaws, right? The average tier is generally just an okay map. You go on, you can have a good time. It has issues, but it's still just, it's not a bad experience, right? Below average is when more than 50% of the time, you're having a pretty bad time. More, most of the time spent on this map in terms of like a majority time, like 51%, it's probably time you'd have more fun spent somewhere else. Pretty bad tier is when it's pretty bad all of the time and it has those rare moments that are entertaining, you know? Like I just said, it's fun to kind of dick around on two fort, but even then it's very rare. You're going to have like a fantastic time. And then the insufferable slash flaccid tier is reserved for maps that are fucking terrible. You never have fun on these. They are, they're plagued with problems. They're just absolutely terrible. And of course, no experience means no experience. Or, or I don't have enough experience to give it a proper rating. I think only maybe one or two maps might fall into this category. It's, it's impossible to spend an equal amount of time on all of them. And some of them I've not played nearly enough, so. Double cross, below average, infinitely more fun and enjoyable than two fort. I have a lot of fun on this map. The biggest fucking problem are snipers. <laughs> Put a sniper anywhere in the main open area and it's completely just, it's shut down. You cannot have fun in the presence of a single good sniper on double cross. And then once you get across the bridge and you get into like the main area, it's so close to the enemy team's spawn that it's almost always impossible to push past that, especially if there's like one or two engineers there that just shut down that entire area. Your only option is to completely flank going through the sewers and then going up a stairwell and then back around to get the intelligence. And even then, there's always like 50 fucking engineers. I mean, that's too far. That's that's capture the flag in general, right? But beyond that, double cross is very fun. I have 
lots of fond memories. It's fun just going like airstrike soldier or direct hit soldier or demo night or just whatever. This this map has, you can have a lot of fun on this map if there isn't like a 55,000 hour sniper main just shutting down all the fun. Landfall. I will say that Landfall is probably the most fun capture the flag map. If you're going to play a CTF map, this is the one you're going to have the best experience on. The only major problem with this map is just how close the spawn is to the intelligence. You walk out the door and it's right there. So it's borderline impossible to get it sometimes, especially if they have like a couple of snipers set up directly at spawn and you just plop an engineer next to them. Again, problem with capture the flag. It's just the game mode problem and how most maps are designed. It's fucking awful to try to get the intel. Capture the flag is, you know, it's it's capture the flag. And there's, there's a reason why a lot of people label it as the worst game mode in the game. And it's for the reason of it, it just gets really campy. Landfalls of no exception, but personally, I find myself having a lot more fun on this CTF map over pretty much all others. Landfall, highest rated capture the flag map, period. Middle area on landfall is a bit big without a real flank, but you have cover in the form of like the big tree and you can go on the upper level to the lower level pretty easily. You can get around there pretty quickly without getting completely sniped out by a sniper or something. Once you're in the open area on the other side of it, away from your spawn, then things can get a little bit hairy, especially down like that main site, that, that main sight line that's really fucking huge. Again, shut down by one sniper, but beyond that, it's pretty fun. Sawmill. Saw also gonna put it in the below average category. It's just, eh. Always going to prefer King of the Hill Sawmill over over CTF. It's it's the exact same map. It just plays better for King of the Hill. The central area is effectively pointless because everyone just takes the flanks around the point to get to the intel. So it just invalidates most of the map and it's just not that. Actually, no, I'm going to put it pretty. I'm going to for that. I'm going to put it lower. It's better than two fort but it's just, it's it's pretty bad. Like you have the problems that exist with Sawmill, but then paired with the game mode capture the flag. Ah. Yeah. But at least it has the added benefit of the Intel room being a good stone's throw away from spawn. So it isn't immediately shut down by everyone respawning in the waves, but you're inside of a tiny room through hallways. So eh. turbine ass turbines also ass mainly because again, the entire area is so like the main, the main lobby area with the turbines is so fucking huge. Pop one sniper in there, 2,000 hours, you, you can't move anywhere. You, you're fucked. There's no way to get the intel. The main pathway to get the intel is always shut down by one or two snipers. The other pathway goes right by spawn, so you're fucked. And then the only other option is to go through the vents, which is just a tiny hallway where there's one demo man can just spam it out and you can't you can't play the map. It's better played as just a DM map, and that's it. You're not, you're not actually playing the objective on turbine ever. And if someone miraculously manages to capture the intel, it, it's the planets have aligned and it's the apocalypse. The, the end of the world is coming. The gods are coming out of the cave. The, the demigods are coming out of the cage at the bottom of the ocean, like in Hercules, and they're going to fucking annihilate everything on the earth. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, you can shut down mid by putting a sentry on one of the containers as well. So the only thing that turbine has going for it is the skybox is really high. There's a lot of verticality. You can rocket jump. You can sticky jump. You can, you can, you can still have a little bit of fun in the central area but um beyond that it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty shit map really hope one day someone can do a guide on how to avoid sniper yeah there will never be a guide on how to avoid sniper if you can see him he can see you and you can insta die in 0.2 seconds there's no way to avoid a sniper if he suddenly sees you, you just cannot be present anywhere where a sniper can see you that's just how the class is designed there's no way around it okay I lied. I forgot about CTF well. CTF well is pretty fun. The map is huge, but holy shit, it is a fun fucking map. I have so many fond memories on playing CTF well. There's so much variety in like the different map environments, right? Mid is completely different from like the second area, which is completely different from where the intel is. It's so fucking fun. It has, it's, it's loaded with flaws. Yes, it's capture the flag, but fuck you. I, I enjoy, this map is so fucking fun. I love it. The final point is this big, open fucking room but man there's a lot of opportunities to fuck around on there and you can have so much fun on ctf well i miss the good old days before valve killed community servers with meet your match there was a 24 7 ctf well server that i used to frequent all the time i spent ungodly 
amounts of hours playing on that map. It is just, oh God, it's so fun. I miss it. I miss those days when community servers were populated and they had maps being run like that 24 seven. Those were the good old days, man. But then Valve was like, hey, you know what? Every other game is using skill-based matchmaking right now. Let's use it too and then kill off community servers. Good move. Snowfall, terrible. It takes, like, it's just, it's, there's no point to play on Snowfall. Snowfall is just a Christmas reskin of Landfall, except its performance is shit because of all the Christmas stuff that's been vomited onto it, and there's nothing new. It's the exact same map, just reskinned. There's no new experience. I have no incentive to play on this map, aside from, oh, look, there's snow now, and the intel is now a present. Why bother putting maps like this in the game if they're not providing some kind of new experience, right? And I've said this before, when Valve picks maps, please pick maps that aren't just reskins. We want maps that are new, that give us a new experience, because the only thing that we get in TF2 that provides a new gameplay experience these days are new maps. So when you just give us the exact same map that already exists, we're not getting anything new. It looks different, but that's it. That's why it's shit. I have, I, I, I would much rather play on just regular landfall. Fuck, fuck reskin maps like this. Except Two Fort Invasion. The only reason why Two Fort Invasion is in cum tier is because it's so fucking cool. I don't care. Fuck you. Gameplay wise, it's still Two Fort. It sucks dick. See, like, listen, Two Fort Invasion is cum tier merely by the aesthetics alone. It's just, it's so fucking cool, dude. And I have very fond memories of the invasion update, all the shit that was being leaked and all the drama going on behind the scenes. And then when the update finally dropped, you have this classic map that has been completely transformed. Reskinned maps that are transformative enough that actually provide you with a completely new experience, those are most welcome. And Two Fort Invasion skirts that line, but it's just across it enough to where it's transformed enough to where it is that new experience. And I love it for that reason alone. And yeah, the bombs add another layer of goofiness that uh, you really can't get inside of regular Two Fort. I, I love this map. I wish it wasn't relegated to special game modes. It sucks that they did that. It's just a CTF map. Put it in the regular rotation. Don't put it in special game modes. Fuck off. Why is there no 24-7 Two Fort Invasion? Dude, random aside before I continue. Community servers are in a weird spot right now. If you're not Uncle Topia, then no one plays on you. Skyle has traffic, but not a lot. There are like fringe community servers that exist like in their own little spheres that still primarily run vanilla TF2. But beyond that, there are very few servers that run just normal vanilla TF2. It's all like versus Saxon Hale or times 10 or all crit or trading. There's like, there are so few servers that just run the vanilla game, right? And even the servers that run the vanilla game don't actually run the vanilla game. Uncle Topia runs this weird diet competitive version of the game where there's no random crits, there's class limits, no random bullet spread and a really limited map rotation. You have Skyle, which used to be just vanilla TF2, but is now just copying Uncle Topia so they can stay in the competition, right? Right? They don't have class limits, but it's still just Uncle Topia, more or less. It's fucking stupid. And then you have these other fringe servers, like there's one I frequent called the Fairy Pound. They've been around for years, and they run most vanilla maps, and it can be fun. There's fairy porn everywhere. So unless you're a fan of that, you're gonna, you're not gonna, it's, you're gonna have a different experience, right? And thanks to Valve's meet your match debacle, clusterfuck, terrible mistake. All of those old community servers that would run maps like this because they had players funneled into them via quick play, they're all dead. So thanks Valve for doing that, I guess, and then making sure that cool maps like Two Fort Invasion will never be played again. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's like, it's, that is the reason why community servers are mostly dead. If you don't, if you didn't have the notoriety of being a big server hoster in the past, like Skyle, or if you don't have the social muscle to flex like Uncle Dane does, you can't get a set of community servers off the ground. You need some kind of significant social backing in order to get a body of community servers off the ground. That's why creators.tf was able to do so well. It received a lot of promotion from figures inside the community, right? And it blew up and then eventually ate itself from the inside out. And we're, we're stuck with what we have now and it sucks. It's why I wanted to make my own community server, but I don't have the social muscle to even populate a single server, which is unfortunate. You know, if I had 10 times the amount of subscribers that I do now, comparable body size, like, uh, like fucking Uncle Dane does, then yeah, I would have enough eyeballs to tell, hey, look, server to play on. Unless you're of someone of his magnitude, you're not gonna fill up a server. It sucks. Community servers are dead and Valve killed them. Five Gorge, ass. Uh, is it, 
Mm. So the problem with Five Gorge is that it's so fucking big. This map is huge and really just doesn't work for 5 CP. It takes so long to get anywhere. It works better for attack defend, but not for 5 CP. But it just, it, actually no, I lied. It, I, I never have fun on 5 Gorge. It's never fun. It's a terrible experience for 5 CP. This middle point is also fucking abysmal. The only fun parts of the map are the parts of the map that still resemble attack defend. So, it's shit. Badlands, 5 CP. Mm. I mean, it's it's just okay. I'm gonna keep Double Cross higher because I have more fun on it personally, but it's definitely, it's what you'd expect from a 5 CP experience, right? There are decent enough pathways and flanks you can take where you're not being horrifically funneled into the next point. It does have some pretty egregious sight lines. It's not the worst. It has decent verticality so you can like, you know, bomb in and deal with a sniper, enough flanks and what have you to kind of work your way around them. You can have a lot of fun. I have the most fun on 5 CP when I'm playing Spy. This is a really fun Spy map by the way. I try it out if you haven't. It plays well, but it's just, it's 5 CP. And personally, I think 5 CP just doesn't work great in a 24 man vanilla server. Cold Front, I enjoy more than, than Badlands. I like Cold Front a lot more. I like the flank routes more. I like the midpoint a lot more. There's way more cover, way different pathways you can take. It's not shut down by the presence of one engineer or one sniper. The second point is a little bit shit. You have to go through three different very tiny hallways in order to approach the point, which have a lot of stalemating problems. The last point on Cold Front, which is like the big facility room, that area just looks really cool. It's it's horrific to push into, but I tend to find myself having a lot more fun on Cold Front than I do Badlands. I like 5 CP, but it's because I love the back and forth they're gonna have. Yeah, but you can have the, I have a more fun back and forth experience on Attack Defend. I enjoy that experience more. Yeah, 5 CP is terrible and casual because it is stalemate right? Because you can have 12 players versus 12 players all being funneled through mostly very tiny choke points, which is just guaranteed for a stalemate to happen. Fast lane. I'm gonna leave it between Cold Front and Badlands. I like Fast Lane a lot more. It's it's a bit more open than Badlands. It 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 lacks some of the verticality that Badlands has. I don't like Spire. I think the Spire point on Badlands is fucking stupid. I hate trying to capture it. I like the second point on Fast Lane more. I like the different pathways on that map more. Yes, it's just big area choke, big area choke, but that's how most 5 CP maps are designed. I like the the last point's interesting because you can come at it from above or below or through um that other far right pathway i like the last point that's a fun that's a fun one to push into and defend the second point is okay the midpoint is probably the worst it's a bit too open there's not a lot of cover but there are flank ways you can take on either the left or the right of the point since every 5 cp map does eventually stalemate actually no i lied i like fast lane more than cold front i enjoy the stalemates more on fast lane than i do cold front or badlands because these are far more fun chokes to push into or defend than either of these two maps foundry probably also better than cold front or badlands it's it suffers from the same issue where it's pretty fucking big, but it's not as terrible as, say, like, CTF or uh, 5 CP well or 5 CP fucking gorge. I, it's it's not nearly as bad. Foundry is another one of those really classic maps that it is, like, the lifeblood of TF2. It's been around for fucking ever, and it can be a lot of fun. I like the midpoint. It has a lot of cover, a lot of flanks to get around. It's a fun demo night map, fun spy map. It, it You have a lot of different ways to play Foundry and have a good time. The last point is pretty fun as well again because you have verticality options you can come from the ground floor you have the upper level you can try to push into and if you're playing for, for a 24 man server i should say the size of the map works better for a 24 man server for foundry and also fast lane but for cold front or badlands then the stalemates get a lot worse but actually i'm gonna bump foundry foundry is better than fast lane i like foundry has more it's it's, it's a, probably the best 5 cp map for the size of the team's 12v12 freight Here's the problem. I like freight. I like freight a lot, but I don't know where to put it. I'm going to bump Foundry to average and freight below it. Yeah, Foundry's average. I find myself having more fun than not on Foundry and the same. I'm going to bump freight. I like freight more because the midpoint's really fun. You have really interesting flanks you could take over the wall. You have a lot of different, like, it's, it, yeah, it is archaically designed, but it's really fun. Yeah, because, like, you just have these big walls that you can jump over, right? The second point sucks. 
I will not deny that. It's a tiny room that is just a fish bowl that are uh, like, like shooting fish in a fucking barrel. But those stalemates are also really fun to push into and try to attack or defend. I don't know why it, it, it has that same sensation as Dust Bowl. Yeah, the last point on Freight's fun. I mean, the train, right? The train's fun. You can, you can do a lot of fucking around on freight more so than you can on foundry and and what's nice what's nice about freight freight is just the right size for a 5 cp map to where the 12v12 option is a lot of fun so freight is good granary i fucking hate i hate granary i uh granary is just like the quintessential 5 cp map tiny chokes into big fucking room tiny chokes into big fucking room tiny room into big fucking chokes the map sucks i don't know why they played this map on competitive for fucking years it's never fun it blows to push into it blows to defend it is just not a fun map i never have fun on granary fucking ever it's like the last point is just a big open bowl the second point is shooting fish in the barrel mid is probably the best part about the map because you have flanking options you have decent verticality but again it's just shooting down into a bowl that is the central point and the stalemates on that map get fucking awful and they always happen they always happen between the last point and second and it always sucks it always sucks to push into it's never fucking fun only the mid fights are fun on granary but beyond that it sucks dick best part about granary is the little grain dump you can pop out of yes i humbly agree with that statement mid is cool maybe why it's the only part of the map that's using mge servers and mge servers also run uh granary last i remember years ago granary last was often run on mge servers too but i don't think you see that often anymore these days i know i know granary mid is still run on on mge but last was used pretty often too the fuck is this weird ass spam dude what the fuck hello streamer hello streamer we are here to advertise followers and promotional art for your channel please go to our website and enter your credit card information we are not a robot trust us give us your money we are in the beam we, we gully wash gully wash is another like one of those optimally sized 5 cp maps that has a lot of interesting terrain a lot of good verticality the midpoint is a lot of fun the second point is really fun last can be a bit of a bitch sometimes i really don't enjoy pushing into last because the chokes can be so fucking terrible but most of the time when i'm playing on gully wash i have a lot of fun i think gully wash is probably my favorite 5 cp map and whenever i'm like watching like competitive tf2 i find myself the most entertained when when they're playing gully wash and yeah the last point is fucking awful okay back capping last because you can go underneath the point is really fucking fun right it, 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 I, you always get so excited when someone goes to back cap last it get like someone like someone like runs spy and they think they're safe like the other team thinks they're safe and they push out a little bit too far and then someone goes to back cap last that's always fucking great i love that shit yeah i think golly wash is probably the winner for the uh the best 5 cp map in my opinion i like it it's really fun metal works pretty bad i don't understand why this this is another one of those maps that i don't understand why they play in competitive it's another one of those maps where it there's just too many chokes all the way through this like the most fun point to play around is the second point a lot of interesting terrain verticality and different flank routes you can take to get to it but mid fucking sucks and the last Last point sucks even more to push into like very rarely do you enjoy a moment on metalworks i don't know why powerhouse is here i guess technically it's it's cp but uh powerhouse is is come powerhouse is always fun i this this map is just always fucking fun i will never forgive valve for putting a timer on this map that was the fun part of powerhouse was that you could get four and a half hour long rounds of endless stalemating back and forth if you want that push pull experience if you want that tug of war powerhouse is the map for you this map is quintessential definitive tf2 experience of constant back and forth that constant seesaw that constant pushing back and forth it is so fucking fun i never get tired of this map and fuck you valve for putting a timer on it it kills the reason why this map was fun fuck you it takes the fun aspects of dust bowl which are just the really long drawn out stalemates 
but it's constant back and forth thing, right? It's It never stays in one spot. In Dust Bowl, it just stays in one spot. Them pushing into the next point. But on Powerhouse, there are so many opportunities for it to go back and forth on that map, man. It is so, it is so fucking fun. The push-pull never ends. And then when you finally manage to capture the last point, it is organic. Gasmic. It is so fucking fun. God, and, and the, the verticality on this map, the skyboxes are huge. Every class is fun to play. On this, like, every, when, when every class is fun to play, that's when you know the map is good. And this is, just, oh God, I will never get tired of Powerhouse. It's so fucking fun. I love it to death. Process, mediocre. I hate this map. Process is another one of those maps where it's just five CP, big, like chokes into big area and then more chokes into big area. The last point on process sucks dick to push into. The second point is probably the most fun to play around, but the midpoint sucks. I, oh, I hate it. I, I've never enjoyed this map once in my life. Unless you're playing, unless you're like a fucking sweaty sixes person, then this, the, no, no one enjoys this map otherwise. Sorry. It's, it's not good for 20 for 12v12 it's not fun it's not good you never have fun i will stand by that statement it's a shitty map i hate it why because process was specifically made for competitive tf2 process was specifically made for competitive tf2 and then they put it in the game they made it official and you wonder why it doesn't work for 12v12 you wonder why it's the same reason sunshine sucks dick for 12v12 it's a map that was made for competitive and then they put it in the game. That's why it sucks for 12v12. They both suffer from the same problems. You cannot put a map that was designed for team sizes of 6v6 and then expect it to work the same for 12v12. It is not fun. It sucks cock, for they both suck for that reason. I hate Sunshine. I hate Sunshine way more. Sunshine is ass. I agree, it sucks. No, last point on Sunshine is awful. Ugh. The second point's interesting, but the, the mid sucks, last sucks, but it's, oh, it's never fun. And yeah, and also, oh yeah, dude, and any server that runs Sunshine is just comp sweat hell. I don't get it. Like, if you're sweating that hard, then just go play like a fucking, like, pickup game or a scrim or something. Like, don't, like, and it's like, oh, they're gonna go on a casual and treat a 12v12 server as though their fucking life depended on winning the game. It's never fun. It sucks. I hate this map. It's horrible. Ugh. Snake water. Probably. Mm. I'm not going to say it's better than process. Snake water is another one of those maps where it suffers from the same five CP issue. Choke point to the big area, choke point to the big area, choke point to the big area. Rinse and repeat ad nauseum. The stalemates suck. Pushing into the last point fucking sucks. The mid fights can be a little bit interesting because of the elevated central point and you have decent verticality and terrain you can use to kind of get around it. So you have some interesting times on that point. But the rest of the map is just, oh God, I hate it. It's just, it's just not fun. Snake water does have its moments. Like if you're not, Snake Water is like one of those five CP maps where if you're not pushing the objective, then it can be fun. Like if you're just dicking around on Snake Water, like you're just spamming Huntsman arrows, you're playing Kaber Demo Knight, then it can have those interesting times. But for the most part, I just never have fun on Snake Water, especially in 12v12, right? Vanguard, I don't, what do you, what do you do? What, what's with Vanguard? Uh, where do I put this? Like, I don't know where to put this map. It's just, it like Vanguard doesn't know what it wants to be. Vanguard wants to pee. Vanguard wants to be 5 CP, but it also wants to be attack defend. It, it, it can't figure out what style of map it wants to be. It's really weird. It's like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that it's confusing. It's that it's, it's messy. You have a lot of different pathways and it twists and turns and odd situations like where the points are don't really make sense. Like the last, I like the last point area. It's, it's okay. Like Vanguard, I think came out in 2013, 2014, I think 2013. Someone said it's pretty forgettable. I kind of agree. I haven't played on this map in a very long time and I don't have a lot of memories of myself playing on it. So was it 2015? Okay, it's, it's newer than I thought. I thought it was older. Good design, bad layout. Yeah. I I guess so. I, I, it looks good, but the layout is just really messy. It doesn't feel like it's a good TF2 map. Yeah, I recall nothing. That's a good way to put it. Too. I recall nothing good or bad about this map. It's the most neutral map. I, I'm, I'm gonna add a category. I, IDK. I don't know. I don't know what to do for this one. And we'll put like, we'll put like gray. We'll put Vanguard there. I just, I don't, I don't know where to put it. I'm, I'm not putting it in no experience because I have experience on this map, but I really don't I don't know how to, I don't know how to rate it. 5 CP well is the same as CTF well, and it, it, it's, it's the same map.
and it's fun. I don't care. Fuck you. Like it's it's fun. That's that's all I gotta say. Actually, a lie. We'll, we'll bump you. We'll bump you down to average because these are more fun five CPU maps. It's 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 better than these. I will say. So I'm I'm putting it at below. I have more fun than not on five CP well. Yukon is in a similar territory. You okay? I'm, I'm bumping it a little bit higher. Yukon is Yukon's kind of like in the freight territory. Yukon also hits that that size qualification where it's just the right size where it's not too big and it plays decently well for for twelve v twelve. Right. The problem with Yukon is that some of the, the, the parts of the layout are a little bit weird. Some of the flanks take you to really odd locations and they're really tiny choke areas. So it's just, it, it's a little odd to play sometimes. And like you go one way and you get popped out into another place. You're like, what the fuck? This isn't where I expected this to take me. A lot of the flanks that the map does offer don't really make sense you don't need them like some parts of the area uh, some parts of the map just go completely unused either because most players don't know they're there or they're useless because other planks or other routes are faster right yukon's kind of a classic map also aesthetically it just screams tf2 it, it looks good it's usually fun to play on i really have nothing but fond memories on yukon i really enjoy this map most of every class has a fun time heavy has a hard time on heavy in general has a hard time on 5 cp but he, he has an enjoyable experience on yukon and freight and also gully wash the rest not so much i like yukon yukon is fun dust bowl dust bowl is pretty fun i'm, I'm putting it below ctf well dust bowl is i mean it's dust bowl right it's it's it sucks but it's fun it's it's nothing but choke points but the stalemates are just oh they're so fun it's it, it grinding for 19 minutes and not getting anywhere i fucking love it it's just i'm not putting it in come tier because it does get old after a while i do like i i never get sick of powerhouse i never get sick of two fort but i almost always get sick of dust bowl after a while dust bowl is like cake you eat a slice of cake man that slice of cake is good you get the second piece of cake oh man more cake sign me up i love cake third slice of cake all right i'm getting tired of the cake a little bit fourth slice of cake you're wanting to go throw up into a toilet and dust bowl is the cake of tf2 or powerhouse is like the steak egypt egypt is pretty bad it's i'm putting it up here it's 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 better than all of these sorry it's it's better than all these egypt is pretty bad only the first stage on egypt is fun only the first stage is appropriately sized the second stage on egypt and the third stage on egypt are fucking awful second stage on egypt good luck ever capturing the second point two two tiny choke point two tight chokes leading into a big open point where one engineer just shuts down the entire area. Like there are no options. You have to go around harsh corners to push into that last point. And there's always a sniper waiting and there's always an engineer. Even with, it's so easy to stuff Ubers too, fucking sucks. And then the third stage, the third stage alone should be its own map. It's so fucking, like you could split the third stage into two separate stages because of how fucking big it is. It's so huge. It makes no sense that it's that size. 32 man servers do not fill up Egypt third, it, it, the third stage of Egypt. It's so bad. And it's it's never fun to play on a map that big and that open. And that sucks too, right? It's like the spawns are on a lower level and you have to work your way up. So you're spawned into a fishbowl that, that engineers and snipers and demos can spam into. And then when you're finally out of that fishbowl, you're in the middle of a fucking football field. And guess who is on the other side of the field waiting to take your head off? It's that fucking fresh install sniper that has no idea how the heat man's heat maker works. And he fucking manages to headshot you because he doesn't have to do anything except click you because it's so fucking big and you can't retaliate. You can't shoot back at the guy. You might land your dead center shot with a with a shotgun, maybe the first shot on your pistol or revolver. Any projectile is gonna take a year and a half to get to where he is. You're fucked. Third stage Egypt is terrible. Only the first stage is fun. I'm putting it lower, like here. All right, Gorge. CP Gorge is just, it's its a fucking classic. It just, it works well. Actually, no, I'm putting it up here. Gorge is always fun. I love Gorge. CP Gorge is always fun. Attack Defend, it's its just another one of those quintessential classic experiences. It's only, it's, it's only two points and man, is it fucking fun. I love it. It's a tight, crisp map. 
it just works. It is so fucking fun. It's fun to attack. It's fun to defend. It gets a little bit gnarly pushing into the last point through like that main choke way. Only problem, only problem, I lied, I'm putting it down here. The only problem with Gorge is that one sniper's presence completely shuts down the map on the last stage because he just has to be set up back in the bats area and you can do fucking nothing. It's the only problem with this map. It's like a better dust ball. It's a better attack defend dust ball in my eyes. So that's why Gorge is better. Gravel Pit. Gonna say average, it's just, it's just okay. I should say that Steel handles the multiple points being open at one time gimmick a lot better, right? Gravel Pit kind of hits that area where it's it's mostly fun sometimes. It can be a little bit aggravating pushing into either A or B. A is a bit harder because it's an uphill battle, so it's, it can be a little bit aggravating at times. So you almost always have to capture B first in order to have a better time going into A. Every class can have a decent time on this one, but it's just kind of, actually, no, I'm gonna bump it lower. It's probably down here. Yeah, I have more fun. I have more fun on cold front but less fun on badlands compared to gravel pit i'll put gravel pit down here see i like the last point the last point's fun i like attacking the final tower i don't know why it's really satisfying i think that's the best part about the map but the rest of it's kind of mediocre and it can it can it can drag out and especially pushing into like b so eh Okay, so listen, I, I harp on Junction a lot. I have a lot of fond memories on Junction, but it's a bad map. You know, it, it's uh, it, it's two fort syndrome for me where it's, you know, it's very nostalgic. It's very classic TF2, but it sucks to play on. It's so choky. It, you're, you're in a tiny shoebox the entire time. It's just spam hell. You kind of have to keep convincing yourself you're having fun in order to keep playing on it. Actually, mm, Sunshine needs to be lower. I fucking hate Sunshine. Metal works. Still better than Sunshine. Turbine, probably worse than these two. I fucking hate these two maps, the Burning Passion. Yeah, we'll we'll put we'll put Sunshine at like the top of Flaccid and then Metal Works at like. Yeah, I lied. I because I I actually I, I do never have fun on these maps, mostly. Most of the time I hate them. So the, they're they're both like in the insufferable flaccid tier. I fucking hate these. Uh Mercenary Park. Also just another one of those maps that's really fun. I'm gonna put it. Is it better than Gorge? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say Mercenary Park is just a little bit better than Gorge. Main reason being, it's a little bit longer. The rounds can drag out longer. They're like it's it's hard to steamroll on Mercenary Park just because of how extended the spawns are away from the points. You get generally longer rounds that can be more fun on Mercenary Park. The first point is great. The second point's great. The last point sucks cock because much like other maps i've pointed out here you're shooting down into a fishbowl and trying to push into last can just really really suck either you go through that one doorway into sentry gun hell or you go through the upper level choke point hallway and just get spammed out by demo men and snipers ah uh, it uh it sucks it's like you like you have to have an uber in order to win. There's there's no other way. You must push in with an Uber. There's no other way. It's another map where every class is fun to play. It's some you you have mostly solid fun rounds on this map and I really enjoy it. I like it. This last point, I have more fun pushing into than Gorge on some occasions. Because one sniper isn't going to completely shut down this point. Gorge, yeah, and it sucks. Moss Rock sucks. It's it's insufferable. Moss Rock is one is like the worst of the worst. I I never have fun on this map. Okay, I lied. Sometimes I have fun. Pro it, okay, it's it's a, it's at the bottom of pretty bad. Moss Rock is just so big and so fucking open. It takes so long to just get to the first point. And it's so open, half of the map just goes completely unused, right? Everyone goes to the right when you leave spawn. Everyone goes to the right, you go through those two, the two choke points are on the right side of the bridge and the entire left side of the map is completely ignored. And then pushing to that point sucks because it's just spam, sniper, and sentry hell. And then the last point, fucking horrible to push into. Again, because you can just park a sniper up on the, on the, on the, on the bats right outside of spawn and it just completely shuts it down. It's just not fun. I never have fun on this map. Rarely do I have fun when I have the constant stalemate going on on the left side down that really long hallway, right? That's just spam hell. I sometimes have fun on that left side area of the map, but beyond that, I just, I, I never have a positive experience. I never have a positive experience on this fucking map, dude. I'll, I'll bump it a little bit. I think it's 
definitely better than, well, okay, I like, we'll put it like the top. It's at the top of pretty bad. It's at the top of the pretty bad tier, I'll say. Uh, Mountain Lap, always fun, fuck you. I love the verticality of it. I love the terrain. I love the pathways. It's not horrifically choky. It's just, you have you have options to get into the last point. It's easy, it's, it's simultaneously easy and hard as fuck to defend that last point. You have a, such a huge variety of rounds you can experience on Mountain Lab. I'm gonna bump it down a little bit, I lied. Sometimes it can be sometimes it can be annoying pushing into last. Uh, Mercenary Park's more fun. It's like, it's like a tie with Gorge, I'll say. But man, Mountain Lab is, is, is fucking fun. I, I, I really enjoy this map. More so than I probably should. Mountain Lab is the rare, beautiful exception where red has the height disadvantage on last. Exactly. And it can be fun for that reason. And you, yeah, you do need an energy on last for defense. I do. Well, maybe not always. I mean, it, it always helps, but if you have a really good lockdown, like getting enough spam up into the, the upper choke and then maintaining the left side, because no one, or the right side, no one ever comes down the stairwell on the left ever. And as soon as they do, they get immediately demolished by whatever sentry gun is there, plops you directly in front of the spawn and then they, people just die as soon as they step out of there. So no one takes that flank. And you can see, you can also see everyone coming from that middle flank, right? There's those four main routes up, right, mid, and left. You can see who's coming to the midpoint. The left side is never touched. The right side, most people try to push through. Then the upper area is like shooting down into a fishbowl, but it's big enough and you have enough cover because like the awning covers that area where red can still have a decent attempt at defending that area from people pushing in from above. Yeah, I like Mountain Lab. It's fun. Uh, Snowplow, I don't know what to do with you. I don't, maybe, maybe it's I mean, maybe it's pretty bad. I'm going to put it in pretty bad. I like the concept and Valve saying it was too confusing for new players makes no sense. It's just a glorified CP, right? Just a glorified attack defend, really. It's just the pacing of it is really terrible. It's it doesn't really flow right. Certain stages just feel really big. Like sometimes you, you don't even have like a forward spawn on, on certain stages and it can be really aggravating. I rarely have a good time on Snowplow. And most of the time when I'm having a good time, it's when I'm defending. Pushing into a lot of the points on Snowplow fucking sucks because you kind of, you're constantly being funneled down these ridiculous sight lines. No, it's it's by no means average. Like I'm, most of the time I'm not having fun on this map. It's it, it has those rare times when it can be entertaining, but for the most part, it's it's just, it's just not good. It feels unfinished. That's a good way to put it. It feels unfinished. It's not really polished. It needed a lot more work to kind of tighten up certain areas to improve the different flanks so you can actually get around and try to capture the flank and not be constantly spammed out by demos and, and snipers and shit. Yeah, and pushing into the last point on the second stage is fucking awful. Oh God, you know what? I'm gonna put it down here. I, th I I actually have more fun playing Junction than I do, than I do, actually I have more fun playing on CTF Sawmill than I do playing on Snowplow. Steel, I'm gonna say Steel is probably at the top of average. I really enjoy how Steel plays. I like the multiple points being open at the same time gimmick. I like the progression the map has. It's very satisfying to progress on this map. The only problem with Steel is that it's just Dust Bowl on fucking crack. Everything is a choke point it is horrible but that's the only problem with this map beyond that it's a lot of fun most classes can have a decent experience on this one it does require a certain yeah it does require a certain level of coordination to actually get into the last point but it, it kind of has like that good blend of free-for-all and in desperate need of coordination. And yeah, you can also do the stupid gimmick of just like sending five scouts into the last point and just capturing E and winning. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna, I'm gonna t I have more fun on Gully Wash and I have more fun on land. I know, mm, yeah, that, that's a more appropriate rating. I have more fun on Freight and Gully Wash than I do on Steel. De Groot Keep is just this this unique melee only experience and it can be fun. We'll put, we'll put it, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll put it at the bottom of pretty fun. We'll put it at the bottom of pretty fun because when you're in the mood for De Groot Keep, it really scratches that in. You know, you can try, you know, you, you can buddy up with a pyro and do volcano fragment extinguisher combos. You can just run spy and shred a server. Of course, you can run Islander Demo Knight and be a fucking ass. You can use the Scotsman Skull Cutter and just be a dick with random crits. Huntsman, of course. You can play Killing Gloves of Boxing Heavy and use the Buffalo Steak Sandwich. There's a lot of, like, the TF2 is such a wide variety of melees that it's, there's, there's always something new to experiment with and have fun with on DeGroot Keep. And yeah, the jank of melee hit reg, I mean, that's like, that's like one of the, fun things of TF2 is like the shitty melee hit reg. You're all, it, it's fun to be angry at melee hit reg. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's another like cake map. You got a piece of the cake, it's good. 
two or three pieces of cake later, it, you, you, your tummy starts to hurt a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right, guys. Be, being angry at video games is bad, guys. Can't be mad. I mean, when you're mad at video games, people will try to people will try to paint you as a very bad and sad person. God forbid you get angry. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Standin. Okay, Standin absolutely belongs in the IDK category. Standin is hideously unique in where all of the points are open at the same time. It's probably more fun than Vanguard in that the layout is definitely less confusing, but the fact that all points are open at once, it just doesn't really play well. And the fact that the enemy team can recapture the point and you need all points to be captured at once, it stretches even a 12v12 server a little bit too thin. It's really hard to actively defend three different points at the same time. If it had that same level of progression of like your normal attack defend map where you cap one point and then that's it, this map would play a lot better. Again, it stretches your team too thin and it, and it falls short because of that. And I can't really put it into a category. Hydro is... <laughs> Hydro is from a bygone era. It's classic Team Fortress 2. It, it shipped with the game. And back when the game had no unlocks, it was in its old form. Hydro functioned and behaved as like defining the game as this is the territory control game. This is what the game is centered around. Picking one of nine classic rememberable characters to coordinate with your team to push into, to capture, and to maintain control over a specific set of territory. That is the game in its essence boiled down into the simplest statement. And that's what Hydro is. TF2 boiled down into the most bare bones basics. This is how this game should function. Hydro was like Valve trying to figure out what a TF2 map should be. It's basically a five stage attack defend and its design elements work better for a much older version of the game, much like Dust Bowl does. Dust Bowl still kind of translates into the modern version of TF2 because of how small it is. Hydro suffers from the opposite problem where it's just so open, where it suffers from a lot of the same problems as 5CP, where it's big open area pushing into small choke, where you get horrifically terrible stalemates that may or may not ever end. It kind of set that bare minimum standard of what all maps following it should be. I don't know, man. I, I can't rate it. I can't rate it for that reason. It was fun, but it it's like... You're looking at it from like rose tinted glasses and it just needs to stay in the past. It needs to stay in the past as the map that used to be fun to play on, but it's by no means fun to play on now with how the game has been balanced. The biggest map is Enclosure. Enclosure is fucking awful. I, I never ever have fun on this map, but I'll put it above Metalworks and Sunshine because it just plays a little bit better. I'll put it down here because sometimes you can, you can have a rare fun moment. It, the first stage is probably the most fun area and like the first half of the second stage is fun but the third stage and the rest of the map are just horrible it's just so big like if, if they scaled down the map to be like half of the size that it is then it would play a whole hell of a lot better but huge areas of the map just go unused and the areas of the map that you do need to use in order to progress are just really heavily shut down because they're mostly feeding into choke points. And the map is so open that you're more than likely gonna get spot out by that one guy or that one sniper who's just gonna pick you off before you even have a chance to do anything effective. The first stage plays reasonably well. I'll bump it above two fort for that reason. The first stage is okay, but the rest of it is just not fun. Back Badwater is one of those maps where it's either a really good round or it's a really bad round. When it's a really good round, the glaring flaws of this map do not manifest. But when it's a really bad round, the glaring flaws really manifest. And the main problem are the fucking sight lines and the goddamn positions engineers can hold to completely shut this thing down, man. Sniper sight lines are fucking awful but then you have these really easy areas to hold as engineer where unless you have an insanely coordinated push or some god tier spy to deal with the engineer you're never going to be able to progress i'm going to keep it in the average territory i definitely have more fun on all of these maps than i do playing on badwater it's it's too easily dominated by the presence of one engineer or one sniper where if you have just a 
minimal amount of team coordination on the red team, it's fucking impossible to push into any of the points. First point is an uphill battle or going through a choke shut down by a sniper. Second point, the cart has to be pushed through a tiny choke point that is easily funneled down by demo spam or sniper spam on both blue and red. Fucking sucks. Good luck stepping out into there at all without getting headshot. And then the entire area on the other side of the point that has that high ground for engineers to play around. Most of that goes unused because using that flank's fucking pointless because someone's going to see you or it's just too far out of the way. If you want to use that flank, you're going into choke points that are very easily slowed down by just a heavy. You pop a heavy in there on the top of that stairwell, good fucking luck. And then the third point is again, going through a massive sight line where you plop one sniper down behind third point. He can look down the two major sight lines that the team has to push through and completely shut it down. Fucking sucks. And you plop an engineer on there too. You just can't push into the third point. And then the last point is a fucking fishbowl. One tiny choke point that most of the team has to funnel through or one flank that just wraps around and then puts you into that same choke point going behind the house area which just feeds you into that same sniper sight line or you can go through map room which just feeds you into that same sniper sight line and then if you manage to get down into the fishbowl there's always two engineers down there that completely fuck your shit most games on bad water are heavily favored on the side of red and are awful to push into fucking hate you know i lied it's 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 like below average like I, i'm putting it down here like i've played so much bad water over the years that i'm so sick of it and every time i like try to convince myself i'm having fun i'm not uh barn blitz is probably my favorite payload map it's it's in pretty fun territory for me it's not nearly as choky as dust bowl but it's still just a lot of fun you can get a pretty nasty stalemate on here that sucks dick again you get barn blitz in like controlled doses it can be a lot of fun actually a lie Barn Blitz is not my favorite payload map. Frontier is my favorite payload map. It's it's above Barn Blitz. It's probably up here. The choke points are less shit. The flank routes are more interesting on, on Frontier. The last point, it's a little too, like the, the high ground advantage red has over blue because their spawns immediately pop them out over to where the cart needs to go. That fucking sucks. And the sniper sight lines on into the, uh, is it the second point? And yeah, going into the second point and then going into the last point, that fucking sucks. But I, but Frontier is, I, I, I think the layout's way more fun. I love the layout of Frontier way more. The last point is less aids to push into. The flank routes are more interesting. There's a lot, you, you, you have a lot more interesting plays with a variety of classes on Frontier than you can with Barn Blitz because the chokes on Barn Blitz are just uh, it's pretty actually yeah frontier last one good sniper does bump it down a little bit i'm gonna put it above barn blitz though borneo fucking sucks i i don't know why people suck off borneo as much as they do i will i never ever ever have a fun time playing on borneo borneo is just sniper and engineer aids it is never fun like let, let me fucking like look at this shit look what hold on all right where's spawn okay so here's spawn this whole area is shut down by one sniper position all of these flanks shut down by one sniper position fucking sucks and then if you put an engineer here he shuts down anywhere the team needs to push in order to progress as soon as you cap this point oh guess what you're greeted by another massive sniper sight line and then you just put an engineer up here good luck pushing into there from over here but oh guess what as soon as you make your presence known in this sight line oh lo and be fucking hold there's another sniper sight line which covers this whole fucking area so you have to go through this tiny choke point which is easily spammed out to get you into this next area but oh guess what as soon as you go into this next area guess what's there to greet you another massive fucking sniper sight line which he can shut down oh he can shut down this route as well because he can shoot up into there and then since this whole point is a fucking fishbowl all you gotta do is plop one engineer in this area and good luck pushing into here you're fucked if there's one sniper and one engineer here oh and then guess what as soon as you capture this point guess what's there to greet you yet another massive fucking sniper sight line but wait there's more and with a sentry gun right here that fucks you and you can put a sniper here covering this entire flank route and you can put a sniper here covering this entire flank route or this entire flank route there's nowhere to fucking go and then when you push into last guess what's there to greet you if i haven't made it perfectly fucking clear sniper 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 engineer engineer 
Borneo fucking sucks. Anyone who says that they have a fun time playing on Borneo, they have no brain cells left in their mind. All the YouTubers love this map. This map fucking sucks dick. It is never fun to play on, ever. It blows so much cock. It's like, it, it's, it's bottom, bottom of insufferable and flaccid. I fucking hate this map. It's terrible. Like, enclosure. Enclosure has more fun moments than Borneo does. I fucking hate this map. Cactus Canyon. It's a shame they never finished the development of this map. Yes, it's a constant uphill battle, but this map could have been something phenomenal. I love this map. It is so fun. It, it just, it screams and breathes TF2. It is, it's so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just wish they finished the map. They never did. Man. Gold Rush is literally the Dust Bowl of Payload. I forgot about Gold Rush because Gold Rush is just Dust Bowl but turned into a Payload map. I actually like it though. It's really choky. It, it, it's literally just the exact same experience of Dust Bowl except with Payload. And if you get it in controlled doses, the full experience can be really fun. It takes fucking forever. Is Cactus Canyon better than Gold Rush? I don't think so. I think Cactus Canyon has way more flaws than uh, than Gold Rush does. So I, one, one more thing to elaborate on with the uh, the last point of cat like the, the last stage on Cactus Canyon where the blue team can defend the cart and then push it off at the last point that can be a little bit annoying sometimes and the fact it's like this big wrap around box for the payload cart to go through and how one spawn can immediately feed over into the next that can be a little bit weird actually I lied I'm, I'm gonna bump it a little higher we'll put it like I'll put it above Dust Bowl I maybe mean, actually I'll put it above Gold Rush mm. I think they're tied I think I'll say Gold Rush and Cactus Canyon are tied and yeah you I was about to get the sniper on like snipers on gold rush can be a major pain in the fucking ass oddly enough despite the second stage immediately out of spawn that whole like length it's easier to avoid snipers there than on the first stage last for whatever reason at least from my experience i feel like we need to do a fly through of cactus canyon for all those who never had the privilege of seeing it yeah it is a shame that uh I forgot. I forgot that Cactus Canyon isn't in the game. Like they they just they just flat out removed it and it's not it's not even in the rotation. It's just it's an old map and most people watching this probably haven't played on it. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Most people who are going to be who are going to be watching this have not seen Cactus Canyon. How far are we? Oh my god, we have so many more to go. Holy shit. Hoodoo. 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 Where does Hoodoo belong? Hoodoo. Hoodoo is Gold Rush, except worse. It's, it's just a worse version of Gold Rush. The chokes are worse. The flanks are worse. I'm going to bump it down. I think, I think it's, it's definitely one of the worse payload maps, but I definitely have way more fun on this map than, say, Enclosure or Barneo. It just has major choke issues that can take fucking forever to deal with. But certainly in the average category, it's still what I consider to be a good map that I have a lot of fun on. I do enjoy Hoodoo, for sure, but I think Gold Rush is better. I'm gonna bump it, I lied. Like, all, all of these maps here, where you can, where you get it in controlled doses, it can be, like, a really fun experience. But because it's a lot easier to shut down progression on Hoodoo than Gold Rush Cactus Canyon and also Dust Bowl. I'm gonna put it below Dust Bowl. I'll put Degroot Keep up here. I, I think Degroot Keep kind of belongs to the top because it's like its own special thing. Pier is oh god. Pier is another overrated map. I am I am I don't Pier is another map where I'm tired of people sucking off Pier. It's another one of those maps that just fucking sucks. Do, do I need to run through this same exercise again with all of you? I think I did this already in a video, but I am I am more than happy to do it again. Oh, look at that. Spawn is immediately dominated by a sentry and a sniper. Oh, Oh, you come through here, sniper back here, completely dominates this entire sight line. You pop an engineer over here, good luck anyone trying to come through here. You have sniper sight line, 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 for, not, not up there, from up here, sniper sight line, shutting down this entire flank area. You put one sniper back here, he dominates anyone coming through this entire pathway. And then this whole area is sight line. And then this whole area is sight line. You want to flank this way? Sorry, sight line. You want to push into here? Sorry. Sightline. Sorry, sightline. Sorry, sightline. And all of these areas are just infinitely spammed out by one sentry or one demo man protecting the sniper, and it sucks to progress. I fucking hate this map. It's another one of those maps that people suck the cock of. It's just not fun. It's not a fun map. I fucking hate it. Yeah, Snow Snowy Coast is also 
I would consider to be subpar. I, I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna bump both of these because I enjoy these maps more than I do Process or Snake Water, and also more than Badlands, and also more than Gravel Pit. But these are more fun. Snowy Coast is another one that's hideously overrated, and you're just completely shut down by demo spam and sniper spam. I fucking hate Snowy Coast, dude. If you want to capture the second point, your entire team is being fed through one fucking choke point that's shut down by one sniper and one demo man. Fuck. I, 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 I gotta do it again. Only this lower area of the first point is somewhat tolerable. But then, if you want to capture here, sniper. You want to capture over here, sniper. You want to capture over here, sniper. And you plop one engineer there, this whole area, or an engineer here, whole area shut down. You want to move on, sniper. You want to move on over here, engineer and sniper. You want to move over here, sniper, sniper, sniper. Plop engineers anywhere there to protect them. Fucking sucks dick. You want to push in this point here? Sniper shuts down this whole area. Shuts down this whole area. This whole fucking sight line. There's nowhere to fucking go! Borneo is another hideously overrated map that is not fun. Again, 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 we're, we're, we're in the shit tier. We're in the shit tier area because Swiftwater has the exact same fucking problems. Fuck! The first point on Swiftwater is an entire sniper sight line. Uh, I'm putting, I'm, I'm bumping all of these lower, dude. Fuck Snowy Coast, fuck Swiftwater, and fuck Pier. These, these are all on the, I fucking hate these maps. They're just, I, oh, oh, I hate Swiftwater. Again, just absolutely dominated by fucking snipers. It's never fun. And you know why? Swiftwater. Swiftwater is another map. Swiftwater is another map that was designed for competitive play. So naturally, naturally, it orients around one sniper having to pick off the other team's sniper because it was designed for fucking Highlander. Why is it no surprise that every map designed for competitive play sucks in casual play? Fucking sucks cock. I don't like it. Thunder Mountain, fun. Thunder Mountain, I love. It's 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 up here. Like it's I I I, I kind of lied. I like Thunder Mountain more than Frontier. Thunder Mountain, the multi-stage payload. Every stage is fun. I I never have a boring time on Thunder Mountain. It's always fucking fun. I love it. There's so many ways you can play on the map. Every class has its role. The last stage sucks, but it sucks in a good way. I just, snipers suck on the first stage. That's why it's not in the cum tier. And there's only one glaring issue with this map. And it's the fact that you can park someone all the way back here and they can snipe all the way to spawn. This is the only flaw with this map is this massive sight line that takes you from red spawn all the way to blue spawn. Upward, another map much like Badwater where it is just hideously overrated. Yeah, again like Badwater when the map is fun, when the map is fun and you're having a good round, it's fun. But when the map, when the round sucks, boy does it fucking suck. You have shitty sniper sight lines, some of the chokes fucking deal with. The last point is again a massive bowl that sucks to push into. It has hideously glaring flaws that I definitely consider it to be a little bit better. Probably better than, we'll put it like up here. Like the worst best payload map that's gonna fall into the below average category for sure. I mean, yeah, it, yes, it is classic TF2. It's classic TF2, it looks good. For the most part, plays decently well, but again, it just has those glaring issues, primarily in the form of sniper sightlines and the last point being cancer. Badwater last is worse than upward last, in my opinion. Uh, Whatville, shit, I just, need I, need I say more? If you're gonna pick out any map that was a mistake, it was Whatville. This set the precedent for what every consecutive Christmas update was going to contain, and it fucking sucks. I will never understand Valve's reasoning behind picking this map. It's just a goofy, fucking stupid map that should have never been put in the game. Uh, Asteroid, okay. Asteroid also kind of belongs in the, uh, in the I don't know what Valve was planning here. I mean, it's 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 robot destruction. I mean, yeah, like it was it was this gimmicky weird thing, and it's kind of fun to play on. It's just it it's not a TF2 map. Much like CP Stand-in, it just doesn't really work as a TF2 game mode. Unlike Cactus Canyon, this one absolutely belongs and should forever remain in the experimental beta category. I don't think a map like this would ever mesh well into what TF2 
is. I just don't think it would ever work properly. It is fun, but it's just, it's not, it's not TF2. It's weird because you're not killing the other players. It's a, it's a stupid reason to give. You're not shooting the other players. You're shooting these little robots. And at the end of the day, it really is just a glorified capture the flag because the meta is just to go and capture all of the robot cores that they already collected like capture the flag and then take it back to your area. So why not just make this a CTF map? Asteroid is the reason why player destruction exists. I mean, player destruction is just glorified team deathmatch. Team deathmatch works for a game like TF2. It's, it's perfect for TF2. And that's why player destruction works so well. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, Banana Bay, fun. Banana Bay is one of those maps where it's just, I'm always having a good time. It's it's just good. Banana Bay is just good. It's the best payload race map. You got a lot going on, a lot of different ways to go. You have that one main sniper sightline across the entire upper area, but there's so many different ways you can go to avoid it. It Yeah, it looks, it was talking about like Banana Bay looks good. Banana Bay does look good. It also plays well. It's just really fun. It's just a really, like if you're gonna do a payload race, map this is like the best payload race map in the game just because of how well it plays it's hideously underrated i don't know why more people don't play on it hightower speaking of team deathmatch is just one of those maps where you're not playing the objective you're going on a high tower map just to do dm and it's fun for that reason. It's not really fun to push the objectives because you get hideously terrible stalemates because you have to run the cart right next to spawn. Whereas for something like Banana Bay, most of the time you're pushing the cart, you are away from spawn except at the very final tidbit of the track. Whereas with Hightower, that entire final stretch, which then hooks into the part where the cart needs to be raised up, is always right next to spawn and it just sucks to actually try to play the objective on that map but high tower is, is just for dm it's all it's it's just the quintessential map for fucking around on and that's always what this map's going to be god i have i have, I have so many more maps to go jesus christ I, you fail to realize just how many maps are inside of tf2 properly going through all of them is a pretty heavy endeavor this is like a good halfway point i have to i have to stop here and then move on to a part two Part two, I will do tomorrow.